And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Treasure Zillion. So we're going to be playing a Zillion Twisted Fate um, Bilgewater Sharima deck that also has some treasures. So this is our, our first viewer submitted donation deck of the day. We've got three of them today. Um, so this one's going to have a couple of Lost Riches in here. And I think the thinking is is we can you know play Lost Riches to put uh, two treasures in our deck. We'll also have Shipwreck Hoarder that will put two treasures into the deck. And then uh, we'll be able to find those treasures easier with the help of Predict, how we have Zillion has Predict and also Scrying Sands with the Predict. Um, it'll make it a little bit easier to go find those treasures. But then we'll also have just a lot of card advantage, a lot of card draw in here. You know, we are a Twisted Fate deck, so, so if we're drawing a bunch of cards, um, you know, like even with like Preservarium and everything like that, Fortune Croaker, Pool Shark, you know, we got lots of ways to draw cards, and so that will help us get to the treasures also. So our game plans are either level up Twisted Fate, um, go find Time Bombs with Zillion, and you know, have a bunch of Time Bombs, or then also, um, you know, plan C is put some treasures in our deck and uh, be able to go find those treasures and have the treasures take over. Bilgewater now has some decent removal. We got two copies of Monster Harpoon, two copies of Bone Skewer, some pretty decent removal. Bone Skewer we also get to use as protection. It works great with both of our champions, with both Zillion and Twisted Fate, um, be able to have them strike, go back up to the top of our deck, and then we can replay Zillion to create four more time bombs, replay Twisted Fate to get another Destiny card. Um, those are both very, very useful. All right, well, let's give this a try. So Treasure Zillion. We'll go play five games in ranked. Now, this is our normal time second history. Oh, this is our normal time. I don't know if maybe you had a, wherever you're at, maybe you had a time change or something, maybe. All right, Draven Ezreal. So I like Preservarium. Hired Gun doesn't match up that well here, because they have a lot of, like, 3-3s three and 4-3s. They do play House Spider, though. Can match up decent against House Spider. Harpoon's got to go, and I guess Salvage has to go, but... They can play some late games. Like, card advantage is going to be important. We just have to trust that we can find other card advantage. Which is what it's looking like. With having Double Twisted Fate. Prediction is up if you want to wager your channel points, if you think we're going to win or lose. I do want to kill this Ballistic Bot. And I'm very happy about that. So I could use Scrying Sands to save my higher gun, but it's it's saving like just a vanilla 2-2. I'd kind of rather wait on that Scrying Sands and maybe have it help save Twisted Fate. But I'm happy with that 2-for-2 two two trade. Humanity is obsolete. Think about going like red card. And then next round, Hired Gun. Maybe Twisted Fate just has to be blue card all the time, and maybe this is just a mistake not doing blue card. I'm a people person. <laughs> we, of course, have the other Twisted Fate, so whenever they kill the first one, we got the second. I have the best job. 
All right, let's see. Like blue card, red card, gold card, all do something. Never lost a fair game. Yeah, twi yeah. <laughs> Ezreal Draven's just gonna gonna be killing Twisted Fates all the time for sure. Um, maybe I should be playing Sprayfin to look for Bone Skewer. The Bone Skewer can kind of protect the Twisted Fate. That was a good card. Man, this. Now we're cooking. Tribeam's pretty good. Alright, so this turns us into a 5 4. Ooh, got some fight in ya. I can actually play Shipwreck Order next round. Sorry, Zillion. If only, if only like put it like what if the time bombs were spells? Since if you like just don't play any other spells, you can put like time bombs in the deck and then draw them with Sprayfin. That would be pretty cool. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Through the coral. I wonder if that's too greedy if I need to be challenging with like the Merciless Hunter. Possibly. I feel like we've like had like a lot of good trades and they still have just you know they still have just as many cards as we do. And we've had double preservarium and like decent trades, just this Draven Ezreal deck can really go forever. GG's. It's kind of the problem playing Lost Treasures, right? Like, you just... Or Lost Riches, right? It's just so hard to, like, actually find room to be able to, like, turns to actually play this, because it's kind of deck... At least, maybe in this matchup, they're just putting pressure on you all the time. That Tribeam and Private Later. Because, oh. like, my best thing that I can hit is, like, Twisted Fate, Stun... But it's still just leveled up Ezreal, does a bunch of damage to me, they have the Decimates, we, we can't win this. Good game. Seven. Zoe Vi. Okay. They should be a little bit slower, which I like. Maybe give us a little bit more time with these treasures. Um, you're gone, and... I don't know, Pool Shark's always pretty useful later. It's just... Our deck needs, like, Mystic Shot, right? Like, like that's what it's kind of feeling like whenever we're playing those games. But, of course, obviously, Mystic Shot's not in our regions. They're not playing Piltover. Shurima is a Piltover... Feel, like, it kind of feels like Piltover, but... Bots. They are reckon. Gonna find a gift for Renekton, right, Arda? Prime 
Oh, I don't have a... I guess I haven't had a landmark, but... I just took the Shape Stone because I just want, like, the, the cheap spells. Our hand's a little expensive and everything. It'll still help protect against Mystic Shot and my Twisted Fate. Let's go ahead and go blue card. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. No, there's no ground slams in here because I think the Preservariums are the only landmarks. Just three Preservarium. Yeah. One star's whipsy is another spike. So, but we're still playing like this card because it, like that plus one plus one to save the champ, our two champions is quite valuable. Oh yeah, ground slam is Targon. That's true, and that's true. Time bombs are also landmarks, so we have some other landmarks. Adeline coins and target. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. <laughs> Alright, what we got? Take another Twisted Fate in case something happens to this one, or I could just go with the Fortune Croaker. Draw a card. We'll just go with the Fortune Croaker. Keep trying to kill my twisted fate. I don't change fate if I can see it. Cillian. That's number five. Time bombs. No time bomb. Um, it's either going to be Twisted Fate or Skip. I wouldn't mind having another Twisted Fate. Time is winding. Like a it's just, you know, kind of likely that something happens to this one. See? What's up, really powerful wizard? Yeah, we got treasure zillion. So playing zillion with treasure. Never lost a fair game. I guess this just makes a whole lot of sense. Red card. Red card does deals damage to them. Turns on uh, plunder. So the monster harpoon will do be able to kill this warrior easily. Plus, if they have. Fail Cascade. Can't save it anymore. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. A meal of them. Yeah, so they were they were planning on going thermogenic beam to kill the twisted fate, so that's why they challenged the, the zillion. Also, help keep their four three with plenty of health. I'm 
just gonna clear out this one one. Give me a little bit of room. Really? Saving that? <laughs> this is still just gonna be a, a one one with vulnerable. Like they really wanted to spend a card to save it, I guess. I guess it's better than having nothing in play. Yeah, so yeah, we could definitely bone, ske bone skewer the zillion, set it back up, and then predict again. I kind of want to just draw a random card instead of doing that right now. I'm just going to pass. I think that worked out well. Get that process started. One girl wrecking crew. Justice first hand. Eat this. Freeze. That's right. Run. <laughs> You're dead meat. We live here. Let's do this. Let's reset Sprayfin. Some attack in. Make haste. So put them down to two. But as you know, these Targon decks, they're like star shapings and guiding touches and all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, it's not. It's not like. Like them just being at two means that uh, they're about to die. I don't really want to replace a two one with a four three. Finally, time bomb. Get some treasures. You pay first. Why are you here? Wait. All right, put a couple treasures back in into the deck. You find what you see. Once I stamp papers, now faces. Gonna find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? We're just being patient, drawing all of our cards. Finding our time bombs and treasures. <laughs> we got 21. Um. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Gotta find a gift for Renekton. Prime, I think this is meme tier Saturday. 
This deck's looking competitive. Doesn't... I think this, this deck's fine and ranked. Yeah, I, I think that we should have a third Bone Skewer. I agree. Like, the Bone Skewer has looked really good. I've been very happy with Bone Skewer. So they just switched out Equinox for something else. Kind of doing this so I could play Scrying Sands, but maybe I don't. I, I wanted to play Scrying Sands so I'd use a mana so that then my spray fin. I don't know, maybe I don't need to do that. Alright, cool. Let's grab a time bomb. I don't know if I'm, like, supposed to grab Zillion. They can go put more time bombs into the deck. Okay. Uh, the time bomb should still be on top of our deck, right? I hope so. I don't think... This doesn't say it, like, shuffles the deck or anything like that. I think it should stay there. We deep. More time bomb. See, that was just perfect. Instead of just grabbing a zillion, we grab a time bomb that draws a zillion. See, this is perfect. <laughs> now we got five more time bombs out of the 18. I think. No, no, no. Ooh. That's a treasure trove of goodness. So obviously they made this block, because that thing's going to die anyway to the time bomb. Okay. Alright, that's fine. I'm kind of waiting till next round to play stuff, because now we're going to have level up Zillion. So I want to play things this round. So that then we copy them. So now we can go Bone Skewer, Lost Riches, stuff like that, because then we can get new copies next round. So we're going to have Treasure Trove this round and Treasure Trove next round? Double Treasure Trove? They could have like a super big scary Celestial that I actually kind of want to Bone Skewer with the Shipwreck Order. I'll just block. I'll just keep see this bone skewer. I might probably My puppy has a t-shirt on because of her because of her sores on her back. She's kinda of scratching at them and opening them up yesterday. So, so I put a t-shirt on her last night. Okay. What do we got? Nox Cryo Arena? That card's cool. Parade Electro Rig? Okay, that seems awesome. So we can play Parade Electro Rig the Shipwreck Order and just get lots and lots of treasures.
We're a Noxcrya Arena deck. Uh, yeah, and then I guess we'll just draw a treasure. Okay, so next round we'll get new copies of... Alright, I, I actually probably shouldn't have played the, the draw a treasure card just because... I won't be able to do anything with that fleeting copy of it. Because we're going to have fleeting copies of, what, Time Bomb? Oh, that's right. We don't get Nox Cry Arena fleeting copies and stuff like that, right? Because those were already fleeting. Right, right, right. All right, double Treasure Trove. <laughs> this is awesome. Just got to Treasure Trove last round. Now we get to do it again. This is awesome. All right, what we got? Spoils of War. That one's cool. Well, they know about this fleeting time bomb. Let's go and play that. Did I turn on Plunder? Yes, I did. All right, I'm sorry, 2-4. You're just gonna go ahead and leave. Well, wait, I'll just get rid of you. It's a little 2-1 over here. Because we got too many time bombs. Because I got too many time bombs. Okay, wait, so they had Living Legends and they were waiting? Why didn't they just play Living Legends before? They could have, they could have like two blockers right now instead of just one blocker. Okay, so assuming they blocked the 6-6. Six, six. I can kill them. More zillions. Put them down to one. I have the time bomb. But we also have the spoils of war. We'll give the spoils of war to zillion. All right, not dead yet. Mm. Not dead yet. We'll just have to play some more time bombs then. And time bomb lethal. There we go. All right, one and one. That was a really cool game. All right, LeBlanc Ash. All these are pretty useful. So I'm gonna keep them. Uh, <laughs> question is which of the three viable decks do you plan on climbing with? Well, not. I guess you're probably talking about like the maybe the top three decks, but none of those. That's for sure. I don't. I don't really play the top decks. Um, I'll probably be climbing with like Brom. I mean, I just. We just climbed just playing, so basically like, what I do is I just play four different decks every day, as you see like, like, these decks over here. And we'll, we'll get to Master's Rank pretty soon, like, you know, like, that's all I do, I don't, I don't really play the top decks. We'll get there soon though. Um, you said there's just three viable decks? I don't, there's, there's more than that, there's like a top four right now, right? Because there's like, it's like Draven Ezreal, Aurelia Azir... Demacia Targon, Shivana stuff, and 
uh, Thresh Nasus. That's like the top four. Um, Discard Burn's probably number five. Like those are those are like the the decks that you play against a lot. But I'd say there's there's like a, a big four right now. Okay, I was just talking and not even thinking. This yeah, I should not have played this pool shark on turn one. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. <laughs> I was talking, not even thinking. Oh man, I like this. I like this bone skewer a ton. Yeah, then there's there's a lot of other there's a lot of other playable decks, right? Like I I don't think those are the only playable decks. I'm just saying like those are the big five, or big four. Oh man, I messed that up. Okay. Um, this is basically just good against the uh, six mana spell. Preservarium can just give me more cards. I'll just take them. Now, when am I? Okay, so wasted that pool shark, but that's over and done. Can't do anything about that. Hot on the trail. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Alright, got a blue card. Yeah, I. I feel like I've messed this game up the whole time so <laughs> with that full shark play. Reset. This is going to be tough to stop a bunch of five fives. What did you catch? Yeah, they drew it right away too. That doesn't make my life easy. Trappers are pretty pretty good against me. Yeah, would have. Yeah, would. It would have been nice to have them have to wait a turn or, or two to draw that enraged jetty. Definitely. Okay, so you want me to put more bone skewers in the deck after this? Okay. We can do that. Who's on top of the bounty board today? I will unite the frail yard. This is kind of ugly drawing all these zillions. I guess I should have just blocked with zillion and just had zillion die. Yeah, I guess that's what I should have done, huh? Just had zillion die. So I'm thinking about doing the the Shapestone challenge, they frostbite, twisted fate, and then I chrono shift. I'm thinking about doing that. Doesn't really leave me like in a great spot. Um, yeah, I guess I do that. Other option is just to simply monster harpoon this ash. Oh, okay. Well, that makes life a little easier. Merciless Hunter can trade with a 3-3. Could be something I need. If they play something before combat, I, you know, next round I get to Shipwreck Order. 
time is winding, like a watch. A true Falyorian welcome. Victory requires a sharp blade. Gotta find a kid for an acting. Right, Art. I don't really know why I chose the four two. I was kind of thinking. Okay, cool. I was kind of thinking with choosing the four two that I would be able to um, have like new twisted fate quick attack challenge this. I take seven, go down to seven. If I play this, then I get a different predict card. Let's see, next round's turn round eight, so I'd have four. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep the card that I have on top. We got 12 time bombs in the deck now. <laughs> we still can't find one. All right, I don't want any of those. Let's skip. Gave them the opportunity to play something else first. Cool. Bone Skewer is a good card. Looks like trouble. Save the homestead. Okay. Well, that was a good round for us. We have stabilized. Finally found a time bomb. Gotcha. Yeah. So now they. Yeah. Because now if they just get enraged yetis, we can we can handle enraged yetis fairly easily now. So this is looking great. Just gonna save the bone skewer. Cause they obviously have some kind of spell over there, right? Like they haven't been playing that unit. Alright, so there we go. So that's uh not gonna let me kill the Yeti. Okay, well. <laughs> Alright. I was gonna save the twisted fate. Um, or the other option for leveling up Azir um, would be, um, I guess I'll say the first one because, you know, I'll cut that part off. So um, as far as changing Azir, what I would recommend is either making it so it um, Azir has to see you summon however many units instead of just summon 10 overall. Like maybe that Azir has to be in play and watch you summon up, some, summon like six units or eight units or something like that. Or just it's you summon however many sand soldiers. Like maybe it's. Maybe Azir is, um, like, I've seen you summon four Sand Soldiers. Um, you know, something like that. I think those kind of things would be better level ups. Then, then instead of just making that, that 10 number, instead of just making it, like, 15 or something more, um, I don't like that as much. You're gone. You're gone. So this is the matchup we lost earlier, Dra Draven Ezreal. This is a tough matchup. I kind of want to keep that monster harpoon that can be three mana, take down a champion. I, I wonder if I'm supposed to keep that card. Never any time bombs. Fortune Croaker isn't bad. I'm just gonna skip though. Way is always the same. It's not bad either. 
They, of course, have uh, more mana they'll be wasting if they want to pass turn. Yeah, so I think the Sand Soldier part could be pretty cool, because, yeah, that is, like, key to their identity, right, is... Um, Who's on top of the bounty board today? Is summoning Sand Soldiers, and so... That could be a cool way. Um, I don't. Why do I never just attack with the 1-4 also? <laughs> they should be at 19. I don't know if that will matter at the end, but... That's something that I do sometimes, just never, just the don't attack with like the, right. the one power thing. Uh. Deal me in. So I'm not drawing a card, but putting this Draven down to one health, it's, you know, it doesn't get to attack this round. And then also like my Bone Skewer can kill it. I was kind of thinking that. Art is gonna make a meal of them. So I can pull Draven with Twisted Fate with the quick attack, which is like the best thing possible, but then that, that opens up like all their removal on the Twisted Fate for them to use, and so then I have to Bone Skewer. If I pull it here, they don't get to really kill my Zillion, right? But then but then the Zillion turns into a 1-1, one, one and they get the... Um, they get that thing. But it's like, I don't really care if the Zillion dies. I guess I do that, so I can still kind of keep this Bone Skewer, and not have to use the Bone Skewer, like, right away. Chandler! Chandler, thank you so much for that resub. I really appreciate that, Chandler. So why not pull Twisted Fate because of this? Because then they, they, if I pull Twisted Fate, they Mystic Shot Twisted Fate, and then I have to use Bone Skewer. And so like, this got, so now we're getting a Mystic Shot out of their hands, and killing the Draven, and I didn't have to, and I don't have to use my Bone Skewer, and I can have Twisted Fate still chill there. They do get the axe. Time for the main event. Draven is so good. <laughs> this deck's really good. Like, this is definitely one of the like in that that top four of decks. This is definitely right up in that. This deck is awesome. Okay, so I could spend six mana on a harpoon on that thing. You don't love it. Right. They had that create a card. Man, they still have five mana. Need to turn on plunder. Get bloody, get paid. Well, they, cause they knew, like, they're basically thinking of bone skewer, right? So, like, they put it on the sump treasure, cause if they put it on the draven, then it makes it a lot easier bone skewer for me. We'll get our licks in. Much easier bone skewer target. Looks like trouble. Time for 
for the money makers. Okay, that's definitely for reputation. But I'm happy with that. I don't I don't think that's really that good of a move of discarding like Guile's a, a very useful card. Discarding Guile like that. I mean, I would, if they know, they should know that I'm playing Bone Skewer. They should be able to figure that out. Like, Bone, Bone Skewer is in Twisted Fate Zillion decks, right? Like, that's, if if the, if they're used to playing against Twisted Fate Zillion decks, they should know about Bone Skewer. But yeah, y'all, but yeah, they were just going for reputation. They weren't trying to protect. So they're turning on Flunk. And I'm so close to being able to level up to his fate, just can't quite. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Keep up, keep up. So close. Full twist of fate would be leveled up at eight. Is it just Twisted Fate? If I put it, if I put a Twisted Fate back on top of my deck right now, then I use blue card. Do I want to just draw another Twisted Fate? And then what, use the champion spell? That'll draw me two. That's maybe Merciless Hunter. Ooh, got some fight in ya. Merciless Hunter could take could try to take down Ezreal. I'm always up for a round or two. Yeah, taking Zillion, we would get a good predict, but you know what it give me another card. Like usual, it's about Captain Farron. If they have Captain Farron, I lose. If they don't, you know, we have a chance. <laughs> but they always, always have Captain Farron. And yeah, that's just going to be game. I... That's right. Run. Let's do this. Have we have we not played a landmark this game? I guess we haven't played a landmark this game, have we? Uh, I need those to be plus three, plus ones. Seriously? What a life. Alright, so we can't beat the card Captain Farron, but <laughs> we're 2 0 against non Captain Farron, but Captain Farron has beaten us twice. Oh, I, I didn't add in the third bone skewer. Oh well, we'll just play this game without the third bone skewer. I like it. Masia Targon, oh, with Garen? Not with, Sh not with Shivana, with Garen. 
I'm glad they haven't had Zoe. I would have had Merciless Hunter to, to help deal with Zoe. Hunter, 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 hunter. Hunter, 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 hunter. We'll get our licks in. <clears throat> this merciless hunter card. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Like, Protege is huge for a three drop and just ate it up. <laughs> Another day guarding the walls. Uh, let's go, Sprayfin. Keep up, keep up. Alright, we got lots of Shape Stones. Oh, no Challenger on this Dragon Guard Lieutenant. How about that? Who's on top of the bounty board today? That's right. Run! I don't really want to kill that thing. So I'll just attack. Because this has fearsome for some reason. <laughs> I don't I don't know why. All right. Yeah. You got my spray fin. The crocodile. You don't think I should waste it there? Wow, we got another hush out of him. So that's pretty awesome. All right, two hush down already. That seems pretty big, two hush down. Alright. Zillion. Another Zillion. Turn back time. We get another zillion. Now let's take another Preservarium. Love it. Still no dragons. Still no dragons. That's nice. Shipwreck Quarter is not bad. Let's do it. Let's just throw down Shipwreck Quarter. I was planning on going like Merciless Hunter on the Dragon Guard Lieutenant and having my Spray Fin be able to challenge that. But let's get some treasures in here. Uh, They're willing to waste 7 mana if I don't attack? I kind of want to not attack. Have them waste 7 mana. That's cool. That's cool. I just take a turn where I... Play shipwreck order and you do nothing. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Sure they are. Ahead. Oh, you think they may have ten cost Cythria? That'd be bad for me. Even just a really soul would be super bad, but they haven't had a dragon yet with a lieutenant. Yeah, Harpoon works with Time Bomb. It's also just a, you know, like, these regions don't really have great removal. Um, it's been it's been pretty clutch for us. I've been very happy with it. So if I Harpoon the 5-4, then my Shipwreck Hoarder and my Merciless Hunter stay alive. But that would kind of require me to cast Harpoon. I guess I could just Bone Skewer. Bone Skewer is actually pretty cool. Put the shipwreck quarter back on top and reset it. That sounds pretty fun. Yeah, that sounds fun. 
Let me get some more treasures. We can do that. Alright, so now I don't think it's it's any use to shape stone. <laughs> they just can see. Yeah, like we're like because they just see all these cards in hand and everything, and they they just wasted two removal. Like they have nothing. All right, so there we go, three and two. So as long as you don't face Captain Farron, more like Captain Unfarron, then you're looking pretty good. I did like Bone Skewer a lot. I would like another one of those. Um. To be honest, the whole Lost Riches thing is, is really just too cute for this deck. I think that the Lost Riches is like, it helps out games that you could that you were probably going to win anyway. I think Shipwreck Hoarder is fine to put some treasures in, but I, I would only use Shipwreck Hoarder. I wouldn't actually play Lost Riches in here. Now, obviously, we're going Treasure Zillion, but I'm just saying that if we're going for like a, 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 a better Zillion Twisted Fate deck, which this deck felt very good. You know, it felt very real. Um, you know, just struggled against really against one top end card but i could i could honestly see instead of the lost riches playing a third bone skewer and um oh i don't i don't own a third bone skewer right now but yeah a third bone skewer and then you know another like devourer or shipwreck order or harpoon or uh ride negation or salvage you know like just another kind of another spell in there or like even a bakai sand spinner um I guess a ruin a ruinous path's not like the worst thing ever. Um, I wouldn't really mind a soothsayer, like one copy of soothsayer, just because you know, like your twisted fate, your zillion, you kind of want those things to stay around, right? And so, like getting them spell shield could be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind just like one copy of soothsayer, giving yeah, like giving twisted fate spell shield. Sounds pretty awesome. Uh, quicksand, another really good interaction spell that can help save things. Maybe a quicksand. I could. Keep your 8-8 Overwhelm from overwhelming you. Or a Siphoning Strike. Then maybe you can maybe you can have like a Merciless Hunter or like something else. Like maybe you can Siphoning Strike something. And now your Twisted Fates are 4-4s four and your Zillions are 3-6. And like then those are a lot easier to, to take care of. I would I'll probably just try one Siphoning Strike. See if you can get, get that and then try a Bone Skewer. Like I said, I have to buy another Zone Skewer, Bone Skewer to show that off. Um, so that that would be not playing the two treasure cards and try try playing those two, um, but yeah, I think I think I would kind of recommend doing that. The cards are pretty cool. All right, but that was Treasure Zillion. I was definitely impressed with this deck. I, there's so much card advantage um, and pretty good interaction. The Merciless Hunter hired gun part, like that's really good. I, like those were were really useful in the early game. Your Preservarium drawing you lots of cards. I really liked both of our one mana tricks. Shape Stone, Scrying Sands, both uh, did really well. Um, they were both really useful. And then, of course, you know, you have Sprayfin, Twisted Fate, Zillion, awesome, awesome cards at the top end. Um, even Mar Monster Harpoon was really useful plenty of times. So, yeah, pretty pretty cool deck here. Um, you know, I know that's kind of going a little bit away from the treasure stuff uh, by taking out those Lost Riches, but um, I think those could, those could work out and you know, having these things larger could really help keep them alive. But yeah, like like I said, like there's other options besides the siphoning strike. If if you try out siphoning strike, you don't really like it. Feel free to go sand spinner. Even like playing like a copy of xenotype, like xenotype researchers as like a one of, um, not bad at all because you have all the predict and everything, so you can find some larger things. Because if you get these again, get these champions plus three plus three, that's amazing. But then even getting like a five six hired gun or a seven six merciless hunter, right? Like this could be a pretty decent xenotype researchers deck. Um, I could definitely see playing that card. Uh, we talked about Soothsayer, Quicksand. You know, so, like, there's there's definitely some different options in there. Like, maybe even playing some of those stuff. Like, maybe you just don't need Devour Depths either. So. Okay. So, that anyway, that's going to be it here for Treasure Zillion. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And let me know what you think of, like, those other cards that I was talking about for the... Um, kind of the edges around the deck, which one of those are your favorite and why, and um, everything like that. I'd be happy to hear. All right, but that's going to be it here for Treasure Zillion. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.